morning, morning, morning. Welcome back, everyone, to Drudel for the home farm. Um, as you can see, we've got our linseed all in ready to go. We've got some good prices early this morning. Um, so we are going to be going for a travel with that lot. First, we've been over feeding the sheep. I think Eddie... Where is Eddie? Is he not... Oh, he's doing the water, isn't he? My bad. Yep, just morning, filled up Ed. the water. Morning, mate. You all right? Yeah. So it's very important during the colder here, yeah. weathers to make sure they've got extra feed in the troughs. Nice loose grass. Um, keep it out of the weather so that when you can put it in here, they've got it easy to chew. Less frozen ground. And it helps them. It just eases up the grazing. And then you've got to move them field to field, which is uh, never ideal. When I get the gate. Yeah. Just going to go fill this one up quickly. Have you showed everyone the new tap? Yes, yeah. Our, um, you guys yep. have just seen. I'll be just plug it in, but I totally forgot it's new for us, so. Yeah. Um, thankfully, the um, there's a person who used to work on this particular farm as a farmhand many years ago, and he said literally that um, outside the, uh, old, the old barn, which is apparently what this used to be, was a yeah. uh, water hydrant. Well, we, we looked, we couldn't yeah. find anything, and then eventually, just kick, accidentally kicking some stone, we stumbled across a little, um, I don't know what they call it, auxiliary pipe sticking out, a cap. Yeah. So, um, yeah, as soon as we realised it was water. We capped it off. Yeah, we just literally uncapped it and pumped this little pump in, so it's quite handy. Comes in handy. And it's really near the jet wash, so it makes it easier to fill up the jet wash then. Uh yeah, Eddie's got the more slightly more powerful tractor, so he's pulling the full tra trailer load. And then I've got all the remainder of the linseed. We're hoping to make a fair chunk of money. We've still not decided exactly what we're going to spend it on. Um, whether or not we will get that second baler to help with baling. Uh, not sorry. Crap. So hopefully we're going to make a load of money here. And uh, the plan is to possibly purchase the, the uh, field off the neighbour. Um, we've had further discussions. It started off at about 27 grand originally. Then he jumped his price up to 42, which is fair. Um, he's now settled for about 40, but I mean, I think it's really good value still for the land, and Eddie reckons so as well. So, Right, am yeah. I leading the way here, mate? Yeah, can do, right. Yeah. I uh, completely forgot about the, the gate. Uh, that's a good point, but put the lights on. I'm just going to put the front lights on because uh, it should brighten up eventually. Brisky winter morning. Uh, snow is half blowing this way as well. Whoa. Well, there you go. Winter on the farms. Eventually, we're going to have to think about wintering cows as well when we get them. Oh, yes. All right. Nice wide. Should leave the gates open, Matt? Yeah, it should be fine this time of the morning. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a drive now, so uh, we'll see you closer to our destination if uh, we yep, make it down all these lanes. Although I think I just saw some headlights on coming down the lane when we get around this bend. Yeah. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe they've turned off then. Uh, I thought I saw some. So, yep. So we'll see you guys when we get there. All right. Welcome back. We are very close to our destination. We have had a car and a caravan overtake Eddie on a long haul, and he's sitting right up my backside. But we're here. Uh, well, we meant to go down that. I oh, know. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it, it is. Yeah, it's just in here. <coughs> I was going to say, I thought it might have been that dirt trike at the back there. Um, oh. When we phoned them, they were open, but it doesn't look like anyone's here. Right, I'm just going to pull out. Oh, they might be inside. That was close. Did you nearly hit me? Very close. Very close. All right, let's shut those lights off on the engine for a second. Uh, whoa, Jesus! I'm... Whoa, 
Oh, I feel that on the no. face. That is ice cold. Oh, oh yeah. A greenhouse is a bit of a shelter. My God, that wind's whipping it up. Uh, right. Where do you reckon the office is? In here? On the door on the left there, yeah. I'll, I'll give it a so. go. I'll give it a go. Right. Welcome back, you guys. We'll um, wait for Matty to... Oh, there he is, around the corner. That's all right. Have you seen, the, sele have you seen the selection they've got in there? They give our little greenhouse yeah. place a run for its money. They've got everything. It's great. Oh, yeah. I could spend a fortune in well, there. Um, I, I didn't. I didn't. But I could. What was, what was, what was, the, what was the, the, the lolly? What did we get? What do you reckon? Uh, well, from what I did on a bit of research, we get about 110 a thousand, I think it was. So be about 36,000, give or take. Maybe a little less, no. maybe a little more. What was it then? 41, just un literally just under 41,000 pound. <laughs> uh, okay, what, what do you reckon? Brings our grand budget to si grand total to 65,400 pound. And 54p, uh, 454 pound. What, what about right. popping around the neighbours and seeing if we can cut the deal for that field then? <clears throat> yes, but one thing we do need to do yeah. before we do that is take both the tractors in for a full blown ser full service. Yeah, I was yours just... especially is sounding rough. Yeah, I know we've got all the parts that we um we've replaced all the filters and everything, but it still isn't I mean, that needs a proper proper service. So yeah, I don't so does okay. mine that No, I I'm not that needs a full engine go through service. I'm not capable of doing that with tractors. I could do it with cars and vehicles and yeah. trucks and stuff like that, but not tractors because you've obviously got all the high-tech stuff in there and i'm just not capable of doing that i won't touch it needs entrance. a full plug-in reading yeah exactly yeah, yeah. so uh drop the trailers off run them down to the store um yeah do you want to take we could take a walk up i don't know he's i don't think wendy and owen will be they're not in today are they sunday it's, i don't know no, so what we could what we could always do is take a walk over to Green Acres and take the little truck home. Yeah, yeah. Well, right, take yeah. things down there and then take the truck home. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, the it's a plan. It's done. a plan. It's a plan. All right. Yep. Let's, uh, let's, right let's get grab your tractor. Ding, ding, ding. Nice place. The sun's finally up and out properly. Oh yes. But it's not warming up. Still snowing though. I know it's freezing. He certainly don't want to be out there, but at least I haven't got to put my lights on now. Alright. Nice empty trailer. Right, wait for Matty to come up. We'll get him to go first because his tractor's not sounding pretty. Uh, I'm definitely going to have... I reckon this is uh, on its last legs if it doesn't get a service. Yeah. Whoa, cement truck in the middle of the road. He won't give him way, was he? Nope. On that note, guys, we will see you back at the farm. Right, here we go. We're just passing the sheep enclosure back home at home farm. I'm going to drop these trailers off and then uh, we'll get these over to maintenance. I've got a couple of warning lights coming up now. Um, so, luckily, uh, yeah, no more. I can problems. see the service light. Yeah, you've probably got brake light as well because your brakes don't seem to be great. Engine management light, probably. Uh, pff, who knows? You never look. Uh, well, once we put this trailer in there, I'll let you have a quick look. Jump in the cab and have a look before we take it over. Uh, right, here comes the fun stuff. Getting this in without making any meal out of it. Which, uh, well, let's face it, if you know me, it's uh, easier said than done. And there she is. And quick release. Straight out. 
Uh, I'll leave her running, put the brake on. Alright, All right, that one tucked away. Whew. Oh, no, maybe not. Bit too close to that fin. Stop building that. Back her up. Hit the quick release. Drops that. Disconnects everything. Alright, let's go have a look at this tractor, guys. Oh yeah, bad in it. Engine management light. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully, it's not going to cost too much. You, are you alright driving it, or do you want me to drive it? Yeah, no, it should be fine driving it. It seemed to get here pretty decently. Right. Uh, uh, we'll soon find out when we get down there. Yeah, I've given them a pre-call as well, so they know we've got they've got both of our tractors coming down. Yeah, what time? Do they, what time do they reckon they'll have it, or it'll be not today? Uh, it could be today. They they said they've got one other thing on, but it depends what parts yours needs in particular. They know no mines, and this needs a full uh, bog standard service. With the hours, it's done. It. With the hours it's done, it needs it. So yeah. uh, there is something coming. Oh blimey! Someone's going on holiday in a caravan. It's the second person today. Are we missing something? Is there a rally going on? It's a bit cold to be going away in a caravan, isn't it? All right, let's go. <coughs> All right. I like Mr. Cement Truck. You saw me coming. Uh, I'll see you down there, yeah, Eddie. Beep, beep to you too. Yep. We'll see you guys at the shop. All right, here we go. Eddie will be a couple of minutes behind me. Got stuck behind a cement truck. <laughs> oh, of all the things. Uh, right, I'm guessing I can just pull this right around here. Until uh, they're ready for it. All right. Oh, I don't know who's in today, so... <coughs> Steve? Uh, oh my god. That's Clive. He don't look happy either. I'll let Eddie go in. <laughs> oh, here comes Eddie. And welcome back. And welcome back, you guys. Just pulling up at the shop. Now, who's in, Matt? Uh, you're not going to like it, mate. Well, Clive's in. Yes, <laughs> and he looks, I, he's I'm, dropping about like a headless chicken in there. I don't know why I said who's in, I know who's in. I was on the phone to them half hour ago. Uh, I'll let you go and book them in. Yeah, and, uh, yeah I'll, I'll go I'll, book them in. I'll, uh, I'll start walking down. It'll just Yeah, you, all right, mate. You can catch up. <laughs> it's too cold right. to be standing around. And on that note, guys, we'll see you back at the Green Acres or possibly even the farm. Alright, that's that last lot done. Uh, yeah. Where do you want your shovel? Just stick it up here, I'll is that right? shove it up the side there. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, crap, I've dropped it. Oh, sorry. You're, you're... Right, it's goddamn cold. Should we get home? Oh, yeah, now you cleaned all the weeds out of here. Looks alright, doesn't it? Yeah, not too bad. You know, you can always ask Owen to maintain your garden as well. I don't think he'd mind too much. Yeah, he he is. He's in between maintaining it and not. Whenever he's got a, fire, a spare five minutes, he's maintaining it. Fair enough. Uh, are you driving or am I? Either, either. Uh, you, you've left it run. Um, it's been running the whole <coughs> time, right? Yeah, I've left it running. Well, since, since it was parked up there, I just, I just, um, I left yeah. it running before it down here and left it running to keep it warm for us. Yeah, it's not as warm up. as I thought it would be. <laughs> At least well, it's, it's not an old cold. truck, so. At least it ain't cold. That's the main thing. Oh, that's a nippy little bugger sometimes, isn't it? Right. Uh, just Stop pull out. around. There you go, got him. 
It's at the gate. Ready? Right, let's go. Homeward bound. Yeah, we're going to head on home. Um, I don't suppose really there's a lot to do at the moment, is there? Uh, until we get a phone call saying that they're ready yeah. to be picked up. I think that's going to be the... Going uh, home, getting some lunch. I think that's going to be the next port call. Is just going to pick it up when they're ready. So, uh, yeah. we'll either see you later on, or we'll see you in a day or two. Yeah. Take care, guys. Welcome back everyone. It's um it's been a long old wait. It's December the second now, it's just gone three o'clock. Uh Eddie just phoned me, he said, tractors finally ready. So uh we're gonna go pick them up and see what the damage is. Oh, he's come down for me. And me a gen. <sighs> Hello, evening. Oh my god, this feels so much better than out there. Uh I went down to check that bottom end oh, of the yeah. field. It's fine, yeah. Yeah. It's um not as bad as it was last night. Last night we got a heavy load of snow. And then early hours of the yes. morning, it poured down with rain. So it just turned everything slushy and it flooded at the bottom of the field. But it seems to have all drained away now. So it's quite handy. Yeah. Uh, Very handy. So. And let's uh, just head on down and hopefully get our tractors without too much of an expense. Uh, I reckon yours in particular is going to be quite expensive. Oh, let's not ask him for a breakdown of the itemised billing. It'll make one of us cry. Most probably you. Let's just get one single bill would be nice. <laughs> oh dear. I got in, Eddie. Alright, he's going to run we'll that see. one. Yeah. Yep. Going to run this one back. Up to Green Acres, and we'll see you guys in a bit. Uh, Eddie's just gone and run the uh, truck back up to Green Acres. I'm going to come in and settle the bill. I can actually see the tractors. They're basically where we parked them, sort of, just at the back there. Um, who's in? Who's in? Who's in? Um, ah, Steve! Uh, Got to pay some tractors, mate. Uh, yep. That's it, the Massey and the Kloss. As soon as you're ready. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Steve. Good morning, Eddie, good again. Timing. Well, afternoon, yeah. Um, do, you want, do, afternoon. Do, 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 do you want to know um, how much it was? Not really. Well, I've got good news and bad news. I'll start right. with the bad. Um, it was just shy of 6,700. Pair. Ouch. Do you want to know the good oh, news? Oh, the pair, that's not too bad. Do you want to know the good news out of that? What? We didn't agree to repaint them. Yeah. You want to know why? Because there's probably like four or five thousand pound plus. 30, 32 thousand pound for the pair. Jeez. Yeah, <laughs> 32 thousand pound, man. Uh, well, yeah, you got to realise they're big piece of equipment oh uh yeah the keys are in here you sit on the second workbench oh. uh oh, okay these must be the workbenches there's three of them i'm guessing the one in the middle then yes is so uh i don't see the keys no here mate here got them oh okay cheers there goes yours that wasn't the second, that would have been either the first or the third. I think Steve's losing his marbles. Oh yes. Although, uh, I do need fuel. <laughs> we should yeah. really order a tanker to come in and fill some fuel up. But... Alright, let's right. get her home. No damaging now. I'll tell you what, this feels so much better. Yeah, mine feels not massively noticeably better, but you can notice it's had a full service, a proper service. But the steering wheel's a hell of a lot lighter in this thing now. Oh, blinkers on. How about that? 
Oh, that, you know what, that is a good point. I, I do love Flash this tractor. Going. Certainly parked in there. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know. It's quite middly. Right. Beacons. Oh, now I've turned the extra lights on there. There we go. But your beacons on. I don't know. Have I left my beacons on? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. No, they're not mine. They're yours. I was going to say, I thought my ones were off. <laughs> Sorry. What's mine? You may want to shut your engine off and all. <laughs> that's yeah, that's one thing you don't want to do. All right. You know what we forgot to do again? Uh... We forget, put, forgot to put fuel in them. Yeah, well, there ain't no fuel in it left, is there? But not. No. I thought there was a bit. No, I was meant to order the tanker in November. End of November. We f well, never did. Of, no, I never did. And I said to you yesterday when we got back, and you said, yeah, yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it. And then you fell asleep reading the magazine. Yeah. So Maybe we need to go fill that up. Yeah, we should. We, we definitely need to order one. I don't know how much it'll be. I'm hoping not too expensive. Well, mate, do we, do we need right, to guys. fill it up or just get like a, uh, a you know, a certain amount? Well, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go get some. We'll... Yeah. Um, Matty? Yes? What are we doing with these? Well, we thought about selling <laughs> them, didn't we? Yeah. But um, yes. we haven't decided yet because about the possibility of getting uh, some heifers in. Cows, yeah. Yeah, because we've got the silage and that. We just we just want to get every bit of equipment before we do. So we just kept hold of some. But if we get run, yeah, if, we, if we run short of money, we've got plenty of. We've got, what have we got in here actually? Things we can sell. Uh, two, right. Why four, do you do six, that? eight, ten oh. of them. You got. Why you do that? I'm gonna go make a phone call. And see if we can get some fuel in. Yeah, yeah try and order some fuel. Um, right, I'm going to count some of these lot up. Uh, we'll probably see you tomorrow. Because I ain't going to be working too much later. It's getting dull and it's really cold. So, uh, yeah, see you later. Right, how many got there? Two, four, six, eight, ten more of those. I'm going to count the straw ones. Hey, hey. Morning, mate. Yes, mate. What was, what was that? I heard it when I was getting what my boots on. What was that? Well, it sounded like a blinking uh, truck. Arctic truck, yeah. It was. It was my tanker. I thought they weren't coming till 10. No, they they called me earlier and said, they, can they come earlier? They got here about half eight. Oh, nice. So, so we got... Eight, half eight. 5,000 litres. 5,000 litres, yeah. Hoi! Oh, it did all right there. How much was it in the end, with tip? About £6,800 with tip. So what would you give them? 70, 80 quid? Yeah. Right, um, should we, we, what should we do? Should we walk around to the neighbours or do you want to drive around there? Whatever, what? Well, I, I was just, a walk, we? Yeah, I thought we could cut across a sheep field, just keep an eye on it, see how they're doing. Sort of kill two birds yeah. with one stone. Okay. Because uh, we do have that, um, I don't know what to do with it yet, to be honest. What? <sighs> Uh, God, blimey, they're still back in it. They're eating away the loose stuff, which is fair enough. Oh, look, here we go. A number one. Hello, girls. Yeah, I don't, <coughs> I don't know what we could do with this little field, you know. I'm not sure. It's not massive, but... Um, I mean, what can you do with something this small? A couple of root, some root crops in here. Could do, but then you're gonna have to, we're going to have to find the money to purchase the equipment. I mean, yeah. I think that could be a good long-term go. We could get some carrots in here. Get a little shed up here. Yeah. A small little shed sticks to like a, um, a little, one of those little pull-on carrot harvesters. That that work a treat. Yeah. Just like just just a little bit. Uh. Maybe we could look at maybe doing it next year, winter time, if we yeah, get enough money together. Like yep. Right, and oh, in the meantime, sorry. we've still got a little bit of grass. We could probably get a bale or two off this. Yeah. 
Right. Uh, Once know, it where, warms up a bit. Where's the bloody gate gone? Am I, oh, is it? God, I'm blind. Here, mate. I'm blind. Let's right. <clears throat> his throat. Yeah, just down here. All right, remember, we've. <clears throat> yeah. He's he's quite happy at forty, and he's not in a rush. So if we can just just get a couple of quid off it, a couple of grand, we'll be happy. Yeah. Uh, da -da. I'm sure I said I'd be around at 10, but I'm sure you ain't going to mind. I can't see anything. Wheels. Oh, there we go. Oh. All done, mate. It's transferred. All oh. done. Yeah. <laughs> we own a new field. Should we actually go around it? I think we can... I don't think you'll mind if we just sort of... <clears throat> there don't we go. To. I jumped over, mate. Oh, just here, there's a little gap. Be careful, no cap. Oh, that dip's down there. Yeah, so close to that where that dip was. So we now own that now. 37 grand. I think it's... I don't know. Some people might think it's a bit pricey for the size of the field. I think it's all right. It's only a little bit of field. We've got to clear this... Yeah. Uh, I mean, all these barrels and sacks lying around. Maybe get a skip yeah, down here or something. Yeah, and... Yeah. And that old... Oh, let's go over that lump. That old bit of car. Um, I mean, yeah. there's more than one reason to buy the land. Yes, we want the land. And second reason, we don't want this junk right on the border of our land. No. And it's a small field, but I think we can get... What, we could... We could certainly mow it and then get a crop in here. Yeah. No. Uh, Not a really small field, to be fair. It's reasonable size. Yeah, I mean, Sorry. I'll tell you, you wait here, I'll run down the bottom end. Do, do. Oh, I'm getting fit, look at this. I'm running without getting too much out of, oh, sonic breath. Woo! Uh, that's not quite the right corner, Paul, we're close enough. It, oh, I can't see him. Hey, you can see me, I just about make out his head. Hello! Hang on, let me get out of the car, hang on. There he is. Hey! <laughs> hey! Oh, I'm not running back. I'll tell you that much. It's a bit bigger much. than we thought. It's a little bit bigger, but it is an odd shape. Uh, there we go. Nice little extension. Get a few bales off it first time round and then turn it into a little bit of arable. Yeah. <sighs> time for the... What would you reckon? You got... We can even mow it. I mean, I don't know about mowing it now. It's a bit cold. It was a touch of yeah, frost like this morning. But... No, I think we've... From January, February. Yeah, I think we're, we've earned a few weeks off over Christmas, don't you? We can get this cleared oh, yes. up. We we'll get this all cleared up and get out of the way. Yeah. And we'll have... Uh, yeah. come, come next month, we'll have something to do. All right, yeah. well, that, that case of ladies and gents, as always, from me and Eddie here on Droodle 4 and the home farm... Peace. Out. See you guys later. Mm -hmm.